Hope you had a great Sunday evening, everybody. Holly Bach joining us now to talk about the forecast as we head into another week here, Holly. Yes, it was a really nice weekend, Gorgeous. I would say. Mm -hmm. This is like one of the best times of the year. My favorite, I would say, honestly. Oh, yeah. It's that time of year when everyone else is freezing for most <laughs> parts of the country, mm -hmm. and, and we're, we're just sitting out. pretty, you know. Yeah, <laughs> we love it. All the bragging rights. Yes. Temps in the 70s today. 71 degrees is actually our high. It was the warmest day of the year so far. Here's a live look outside right now. This is Chandler, where those temperatures are in the 50s. Here's a look at our first alert radar. We're tracking a very quiet night tonight. You could still see a few high clouds across the state, but overnight tonight we're expecting dry conditions into the very beginning of your work week. So if you have any plans to kick the week off, well, tomorrow is looking like a really nice day. Temps right now a little bit cooler in areas like Gilbert and in Glendale, where we are in the lower 50s, 55 right now for Tempe and Scottsdale, and we're still at 58 degrees right now here at Phoenix Sky Harbor. Overnight tonight, though, if you're going to be uh, up north in the high country or in eastern Arizona, you'll want to bundle on up. You'll see those temperatures early tomorrow morning if you're stepping outside at 6, 7 o'clock clock temps will be below freezing in areas like Winslow Flagstaff the Grand Canyon. We'll see 40s in areas like Phoenix out toward the Bullhead City area as well and 30s and 40s as well in southern Arizona for our Monday morning. But tomorrow shaping up to be a very nice one. Noontime hour perfect day to eat the lunch outside 62 degrees calm winds a few clouds by tomorrow afternoon with temperatures in the mid to upper 60s throughout the afternoon and the evening. So I said tomorrow will be dry, quiet, calm conditions, but we're looking ahead to our next weather system, and that's going to be off the coast of California. This low is actually first going to bring California some rain and some snow within the next few hours and really into tomorrow. And then that's going to shift eastward by Tuesday. We're expecting to see a little bit of an impact from that system. So you can see here Monday we're getting an increase in clouds across our state. There's the rain and the snow across the mountains in California. By Tuesday night you could see a very uh, thick cloud coverage across the state. Late Tuesday, early Wednesday morning, maybe a stray shower across Phoenix, a better chance to see some snow accumulation, a couple of inches possible in areas like Flagstaff, the very higher elevations of our state up north just toward Window Rock. Again, that's late Tuesday into early Wednesday morning. Very quick moving system. It's out of here by Wednesday morning. We're just left with a few clouds. So really, it's just only going to be with us by Tuesday, but it will leave behind much cooler air, dropping from 70 Tuesday to only 64 on Wednesday. The good news, we rebound back to 70s by Thursday. And then we're looking ahead to next weekend, possibly our next system moving in by Sunday, dropping our temps and bringing back in the chance for rain, guys. Well, Dr.